The second day of Rally Catalunya sees the drive DMAC crews switch to Spain's fast flowing tarmac roads with the championship battle still finely poised. One driver who wouldn't be able to restart on the penultimate leg of the season was Mats van den Brand. This terrifying high-speed accident on the opening morning, leaving his Fiesta R2 too badly damaged to continue. Guillaume de Mevius, meanwhile, would make it to the Saturday's asphalt action, but the Belgian's own error on the opening leg had meant his hopes of claiming the drive DMAC trophy were over. Series newcomer Brendan Reeves, meanwhile, had continued his promising run in Catalonia. The third best time in stage 13, the highlight of the day. The Aussie remains in the same position overall. Yesterday we learned a lot uh, in the gravel stages and we started the rally with a stage win and we finished yesterday with a stage win. We tried that again this morning, we got second on the first stage, but the rest of the day we dropped back a bit more and we didn't quite find our way with the car trying to set it up to the DMAC tyres. If I can keep improving the stage times and work out a better setup for the tyres, I'll be really happy. With Max Vatten too far back to make an impact, the thrilling fight for the title had become a two-horse race. Tom Cave still in with a shout, claiming a hat-trick of stage wins midway through the day. He's in second place, but running out of stages to catch the rally and championship leader. It was a struggle, to be honest. Um, the first one this morning, the car started to uh, feel like it was down on power, and then going into the second stage, a lot of it was uphill and something wasn't right. So, yeah, we dropped way too much time, which was frustrating. Um, they found the problem in service, thankfully, and we managed to push on the best we could this afternoon with a couple of stage wins. But I said to myself, if we can get through to the end of tomorrow, and I knew myself I can't do any better, then, you know, I'll be happy with that. So it is Marius Orson who remains in pole position to claim the coveted Drive DMAC Fiesta trophy. The Norwegian also with three stage wins during the day, a crucial factor with bonus points scored for fastest times, and the championship front runner has increased his hold on the top spot. Today I've been a very good day. I've been driving quite safe and uh, things have worked out very good. I'm feeling quite comfortable on the tarmac and I'm just thinking about myself and myself driving and in every corner I'm thinking about how to get the best speed out of the corner. So it worked out quite good today. Orson's lead stands at 27.8 seconds over Cave with one day of the rally remaining. In terms of the championship, time is running out for the Welshman. Cave needs to win all the stages on the final leg and get ahead of the rally leader.